hope you all can hear me and see the screen properly and clearly absolutely perfect yes tell me yes or no on the chat box and let's move forward with the episode number 3 on the rank booster series for today yes please do tell me yes or no on the chat box whether you can hear me properly or not yes everybody have to tell me the answers come on yes one second let me clarify the technical glitch from my side i hope the audio and the video both are perfectly and absolutely clear and fine yes good morning calvin good morning ananya everybody a very warm good morning to each one of you okay so today we will be starting with the episode number 3 the most important 30 most important questions 30 most important questions from the previous year okay those who are watching the session right now don't forget to hit the like button do share it with your friends and subscribe the amazing platform for more updates on biology yes are you all there give me thumbs up on the chat box and let's move forward with the super amazing session yes give me thumbs up on the chat box and let's move forward with a super amazing session everybody what happened yes So rank booster series every day sharp at 7 a.m. You will be having the rank booster series. So today we are having the episode number three. Those who have not subscribed our channel, don't forget to subscribe our channel right now itself. Okay. So this is the schedule for today. Already the schedule was posted in our Telegram group. Right now, you will be having the Rank Booster series, episode number three, eleven a.m. Starting of a brand new chapter for NEET twenty twenty three batch, cell cycle and cell division plus the main quiz. Two fifteen p.m. You will be having botany module that is morphology of flowering plants, lecture number one plus main quiz. Today we will be starting with the roots. and sharp at 8 pm you will be having the telegram quiz on cell the unit of life brand new two good series going to be launched or going to be conducted for nee 2023 batch on the coming sunday top government and medical colleges government and private medical colleges all over india with their fees and how to crack nee 2023 if you start your preparation right now from level number 0 so let's get started and here is the question number 1 on your screen the the transverse section of a plant shows the following anatomical features large number of scattered vascular bundles surrounded by bundle sheath b large conspicuous parenchymatous ground tissue C vascular bundles conjoined and closed option D phloem parenchyma are absent Yes where is Calvin went after putting the good morning he went I think Yes Oh my god Calvin are you here please post a message Yes So the correct answer for this question number one is the monocotyledonous stem. Why? Because from this first sentence itself, you are very much aware about the answers. Large number of scattered vascular bundles. Okay, large number of scattered vascular bundles, and your idea or your answer will be absolutely clear when you read the C statement. That is, the vascular bundles are conjoined and closed. Right. So the correct answer is option number two, monocot stem. Moving on to question number two. 
which of the following would help in preventing the diuresis which of the following will help in preventing the diuresis decrease in secretion of renin by the juxta glomerular cells more water absorption due to under secretion of adh reabsorption of na plus and water from renal tubules due to aldosterone atrial natriuretic factor causes vasoconstriction Ananya, please take your answer once again. Is it two? Is it two? What do you mean by diuresis? What do you mean by diuresis? Production of large amount of dilute urine. Diuresis is the production of large amount of dilute urine. How can it be prevented? By decreasing. It can be prevented how? By decreasing the production of urine. How can you decrease the production of urine? By the reabsorption of Na plus and water from the renal tubules. Right? Here you can tell more reabsorption of water can occur. But due to the more secretion of ADH, due to under secretion of ADH, what happens? ADH hormone will be less. As a result, what? Very less amount of water will be reabsorbed. You can choose option number two will be the answer for the question. Only if more water reabsorption happens due to high secretion of ADH. Okay. So the correct answer for this question would be option number three. Reabsorption of Na plus and water from the renal tubules due to aldosterone. Question number three. NEET 2020 questions. We are discussing top 30 questions from NEET 2020 paper we are discussing. Which of the following statement is not correct? Which of the following statements is not correct? Genetically engineered insulin is produced in E. coli. In man, human insulin is synthesized as a pro-insulin. The pro-insulin has an extra peptide called the C-peptide. The functional insulin has A and B chains linked together by the sulfa sorry hydrogen linkage absolutely the correct answer is option number four the functional insulin has chain a and chain b which are linked together by what by linked together by the disulfide linkage okay they are linked together by the disulfide linkages clear so that's question number three Moving on to question number four. Goblet cells of elementary canal are modified from. Goblet cells of elementary canal are modified from. Compound epithelial cells, squamous epithelial cells, columnar epithelial cells and chondrocytes. Absolutely, there is no doubt for the question. Goblet cells are unicellular gland. Please do remember that point also. They are unicellular gland. And they are the modification of the columnar epithelial cells. They are the modification of the columnar epithelial cells. Question number five. The QRS complex in a standard ECG represents repolarization of the ventricle, repolarization of the auricles, depolarization of the auricles, depolarization of the ventricles. Yes. So one QRS complex, the long one in a standard ECG represents the depolarization of the ventricle. Very, very Also, you would definitely get a question related to ECG for sure. Okay, you will definitely get a question related to ECG for sure. Guaranteed MCQ. Question number six. In light reaction, plastoquinone facilitates the transfer of electrons from. In light reaction, plastoquinone facilitates the transfer of electrons from. Yes, everybody, I need the answer from each one of you. What happened to the others? In light reaction, so listen, in light reaction, the plastoquinone 
facilitates the transfer of electron from ps2 to cytochrome b6f complex okay question very important question previous year question need 2020 phase one question from photosynthesis you have to study the table in lighter reaction plus toquinone facilitates the transfer of electron from photo pigment system 2 to cytochrome b6 f complex question number seven the product of reaction catalyzed by nitrogenase in root nodules of leguminous plants are the product of reaction catalyzed by nitrogenase in root nodules of leguminous plants are yes absolutely where is calvin i haven't found his answer for the last two questions yes so the correct answer for the question is option number one ammonia and hydrogen mineral nutrition the product of reaction catalyzed by the nitrogenase enzyme please do study 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 the nitrogen fixation you will definitely get one question from mineral nutrition from that area in this need 2021 very very important region okay question number seven sorry question number eight match the following with respect to meiosis match the following with respect to meiosis Cygotin, you know the answer. What is cygotin? Cygotin matches with the synapses. Right? What about packetin? Crossing over. Guys, when you match cygotin itself, you will get the answer as option number three. Right? When you match the cygotin alone, you will get the answer as option number three. So that was the speciality of 2020 phase one neat paper. For almost, almost all the questions of bio were matched the following type. And if you know one of them, you will definitely get the correct answer also. Okay. The diplotin is matching with what? Chiasmata formation and during diakinesis, you will have the terminalization. So the correct answer is option number three. Question number nine. Match the following. Six. Oh my God. Match the following. Tell me the answer first. I'll do it along. Okay. 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits seen in cyclostomes, animal kingdom. Heterocircal caudal fin. Where you will find it? You will find it in chondric thighs. Air bladder is a special character of ostic thighs and poison sting is the trigon. So the correct answer. 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits, cyclostomes. Answer is option number 2 clear only one thing you must need to know and that will be the answer for the question also clear moving on to question number 10 very easy question from cell the unit of life almost everybody will make this correct the important site of formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids in a eukaryotic cell important site for formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids is Absolutely no need of wastage of time. It is Golgi bodies where the protein, glycoprotein and glycolipid synthesis happens. Give me hearts on the screen up to here, up to 10 question. Is it clear? Give me hearts on the screen up to this question. If it's clear for everybody. Yes, everybody is it clear? All the people watching the session, is it clear for each one of you? Yes. Moving on to question number 11. Match the organism with its use in biotechnology. Match the organism with its use in biotechnology. Now itself, you will get the answer. Bacillus thuringiensis matching with only one and only one option. That is the cry protein. So A matching with four. Option number three will be the correct answer, right? There won't be any. There is no need of at least a point one percentage of confusion because the answer is right in front of you. Bacillus thuringiensis is the cry protein. Thermus aquatics, thermus aquatics, DNA polymerase. During the PCR process, 
Agrobacterium tumefaciens can be a cloning vector. Salmonella typhi mariam, construction of the first recombinant rDNA molecule. So the correct answer for question number 11 is option 3. Question number 12. Bilaterally symmetrical acelomate animals are exemplified by which of the following phylum? Bilaterally symmetrical acelomate bilateral acelomate phylum are exhibited by which of the following groups tell me tell me yes absolutely it is the platyhelminthes it is the platyhelminthes so the correct answer is option number three can you please tell me what would be the type of coelom in ash helminthes what would be the type of coelom in ash helminthes everybody what would be the type of zelom it is it a u coelomate is it a pseudo coelomate is it an s coelomate tell me yes it is a pseudo coelom so it is very easy to identify and it is a very repeated previous year question name the animal phylum with pseudo coelom Ash Almendas. Moving on to question number 13. When I. No, we were not discussing the NEET 2020 paper. We would be. Uh, yesterday we discussed 2019 NEET paper. And the previous day we discussed 2017 paper. Done. So Floridian starch has a structure similar to when I taught you plant kingdom for NEET 2021, 2022, and 2023 batch. I repeatedly told this. I repeatedly told this question. Floridian starch has a structure similar to. Floridian starch has a structure similar to. Yes, the correct answer is amylopectin and glycogen. In NCRT, the statement is there. And one humble request and one important thing for me, 2021 students, those who are droppers and those who are going to write the knee 2021 right this year please make sure that you read the ncrt according to the new edition okay because there were so many correction there were so many new words added to the ncrt new edition of ncrt so if a question comes for your exam those who are studying with the old ncrt would not be able to write the question Okay, so please make sure. Okay, so please make sure that you read the NCRT or there are, if you check in the Google, you might get right uh, corrected NCRT. Things to be newly, uh, things added in the new edition of NCRT. There are certain things. Guys, have you heard about, in some of your texts it might have. Okay, in some of your texts it might have. Have you heard about Udor in a, tell me. Have you heard about this word Eudorina in any of your biology textbook? Have you heard about it? Anania Calvin, yes. So if it is there in your NCRTs, it will be new. There are certain diagrams in biological classification also added. Okay, so please make sure. Yes, Eudorina is an example for what you okay and i saw gamas yes very good question number 14 identify the correct statement with respect to g1 or gap one phase of the interface identify the correct statement with respect to g1 phase of the interface Yes, there is no doubt. Nuclear division takes place. No, there is no type, kind of nuclear division in the G1 phase. DNA synthesis or replication takes place in the S phase. Reorganization of the components takes place after G1 phase only. So the correct answer is cell is metabolically active but grows but does not replicate its DNA. Right? Question number 15. very important question you got confused most of the students 2020 students got confused with this during the exam time those who are not well prepared with the ncrt 
If the head of cockroach is removed, it may live for a few days because the head holds one third of a nervous system while the rest is situated along the dorsal part of the body. The supraesophageal ganglia of the cockroach are situated in the ventral part. The cockroach does not have nervous system. The, ner the head holds only a small proportion of the nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral part. You know that why the cockroach head is removed also it leaves for a few days. You know the answer as because its nervous system is scattered all over its body. But you don't know whether it is on the dorsal part or on the ventral part. The correct answer for this question is option number four. The head holds only a small proportion of the nervous system while the rest is situated in the ventral part of the body. Question number 16. The enzyme enterokinase helps in the conversion of the enzyme enterokinase helps in the conversion of helps in the conversion of pepsinogen to pepsin, proteins into polypeptides, trypsinogen into trypsin, casinogen into casein. One more time, rethink everybody. Enzyme enterokinase helps in the transfer transformation of Calvin. Just listen. Pepsinogen is in active form. It is converted into active form due to the presence of HCl, right? For God, digestion and absorption, pepsinogen is converted into pepsin by the pepsinogen is converted to pepsin by the HCl. The correct answer, the function of enterokinase enzyme is to convert the trypsinogen into trypsin. Clear? Okay. Question number 17. Match the following organ of corti, cochlea, eustachian tube and stapes. Question number 17. Yes. Look everybody. Organ of corti. You know that it is located on the basilar membrane. Cochlea, it is a coiled part of the labyrinth. Eustachian tube, it is a connection that connects the middle ear with the pharynx. Stapes is the smallest bone inside our body that is attached to the oval window. Guys, what are the stapes, malis, inca, uh, incus? Malis, incus and stapes are collectively known as what? Malis, incus and stapes are collectively known as what? What is it collectively known as? Yes, absolutely. It is the ear ossicles. They are known as the ear ossicle. Okay. So the correct answer for the question. These are structures present in the middle ear. But these three bones, small bones inside the middle ear. You will call them as the ear ossicles. Okay. So the correct answer for question number 17 is option number 4. Moving on to question number 18. Identify the wrong statement with reference to the transport of oxygen. Identify the wrong statement with reference to the transportation of oxygen. Low PCO2 in the alveoli favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin. Binding of oxygen with hemoglobin is mainly related to partial pressure of oxygen. Partial pressure of carbon dioxide can interfere with the oxygen binding with hemoglobin. Higher H plus concentration in alveoli favors the formation of oxyhemoglobin. That's wrong. Okay. Higher H plus concentration won't. It, it is not favoring the formation of oxyhemoglobin. So identify the wrong statements. Option number four is the correct answer for this particular question. Clear? Question number 19. Very easy question. My mascots will right now answer this without any kind of delay. In water hyacinth and water lily pollination takes place by. In water hyacinth and water lily pollination takes place by. Yes. Pollination takes place by. 
absolutely it takes place by the insect or the winds there is no doubt or no need of any kind of time wastage the correct answer is insect or wind okay yes moving on to question number 20 bt cotton variety that was developed by the introduction of toxin gene bacillus thuringiensis is resistant to guys for me 2020 a lot of question have come from this chapter that is uh, biotechnology and its application okay yes the correct answer is option number two, insect pest. Okay, BT cotton variety that was developed by the introduction of a toxic gene of bacillus thuringiensis is resistant to insect pest. Question number 21. Select the correct statement from the following. Select the correct statement from the following. Insulin is associated with hyperglycemia. Glucocorticoids stimulate gluconeogenesis. Glucagon is associated with hypoglycemia. Insulin acts on pancreatic cells and adipocytes. Yes. What is the function of glucocorticoids? They increase the blood sugar by the stimulation of gluconeogenesis. So the correct answer is here as option number two. Glucocorticoids stimulate gluconeogenesis. Very, very important question. Before moving on to question number 22, give me hearts on the screen up to this 21 questions. Is it absolutely perfectly clear for everybody? Fill the chat box with the hearts. Fill the chat box with the hearts, everybody. Come on. Yes. Right now it's time for question number 22. Yes, identify the basic amino acid from the following. Identify the basic amino acid from the following. For knee 2020, the same question, identify the basic amino acid with the same option was asked for the biology part as well as for the chemistry part as well. Right? Those who have written knee 2020 will still remember that. You can easily write down the option. Absolutely, it is the option number four, lysine. Question number 23. Flippers of penguin and dolphin. Flippers of penguin and dolphin are examples of. Flipper of penguin and dolphin are examples of. Natural selection, adaptive radiation, convergent evolution, industrial melanism. Flippers of penguin, which is an ape, and flipper of dolphin, which is a mammal. They both have the similar function, right? They both have the similar function, but their anatomy or their structure is different. So the correct answer is option number three, convergent evolution. Clear? Is it clear? Yes. Moving on to question number 24. From his experiments, yes, L. Miller produced amino acid by mixing the following in a closed flask. You definitely know the answer as methane, hydrogen, Ammonia and water vapor. All the neat aspirants know the answer for the question. But their confusion was in the temperature. Whether is it 600 or is it 800? That was the confusion with every one of you, right? Those who are paka in the NCRT have paid 100 percentage concentration while reading NCRT would definitely get this question correct. That is option number two. Methane, hydrogen and water vapor at a temperature of 800 degrees Celsius. It will be at a temperature of 800 degrees Celsius. Question number 25. Again from biotechnology, that is a specific palindromic sequence recognized by ECO R1 is. Specific palindromic sequence secreted or sorry, recognized by the E. coli. Not E. coli, ECO R1 is. Yes, it is the 
फाइव डैश टू थ्री डैश जी ए ए टी टी सी एंड द पैरेंट रोम दैट इज सी टी टी ए ए जी इट इज अ पैरेंट रोम दिस इज फ्रॉम फाइव डैश टू थ्री डैश नेक्स्ट इज फ्रॉम फाइव डैश टू थ्री डैश लाइक दिस सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू क्लियर लास्ट फाइव क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स secondary metabolites such as nicotine styrene and caffeine are produced by plants for their effect of new reproduction nutritive value growth response and defensive action and defensive action growth response nutritive value and effect of reproduction secondary metabolites such as nicotine styrene and caffeine are produced Yes, it is produced for the defense action. The secondary metabolites are produced by the plants for the defense action. Okay, so the correct answer is option number four, defense mechanism. Question number twenty-seven. Presence of which of the following condition in urine are indicative of diabetes mellitus? Which of the presence of which one of the following is an indicative of diabetes mellitus? Is it renal calculi and hyperglycemia, uremia and ketonuria, uremia and renal calculi, ketonuria and glycosuria? Yes. Question number twenty-seven. What is ketonuria? Presence of ketone bodies in the blood. Ketone bodies, right? What is glucose urea? Presence of glucose in the blood. So the correct answer for question number twenty-seven is option number four: ketone urea and glycose urea will be the correct answer for the question. Last three questions. Question number twenty-eight: Which of the following is correct about viroids? Which of the following is correct about viroids? What happened? I'm not getting the positive kind of response from everybody. Yes. Yes, come on with full josh. Just two more questions. Absolutely, they have a free RNA. They have viroids. They have a free RNA without a protein cord. They have a free RNA without a protein cord. This time, this neat exam, you will get a question directly from the virus part from one of the. Most probably, it would be the W. M. Stanley virus can be crystallized. That may be the question. Not sure. Only my wild guess. Is my door breaking? Yes. The body of the ovule is fused with the funicle. Chalasa hilum. Yes, I lost. Tell me right now. Please just tell me yes or no on the chat box. Can you all hear me right now? Yes. 
Yes. So moving on to the last and final question. One more question was left out, and after that, we will end today's session. Yes, very fast. Is no fill. Is no fill. Is no fill is matching with release histamine enzyme. Basophils will matches with release histamine granules. This is histaminase enzyme histamine. Okay, please note the difference. Neutrophils are associated with phagocytosis and lymphocytes are associated with the immune response. So the correct answer is option number two. Yes, so 30 questions completed for today's Rank Booster. Bye-bye. See you sharp today at... So tomorrow also sharp at 7. You will be having a Rank Booster. Episode number 4. And two sessions coming for NEET 2023 batch. 2021 can also join for the top government and private medical colleges in India if you are a student aspiring to study at any college in India. Okay, so this is the schedule sharp at 11 a.m. You will be having the lecture number one on cell cycle and cell division with Menti quiz. So all of you don't forget to join for the session and attend the Menti quiz as well. Okay, so bye-bye guys. See you in the next class tomorrow morning sharp at 7 a.m. I will be coming with the episode number four. Bye-bye.